Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Gabby, and today we're going to be looking at our OU sound and our long O sound. You may be wondering, why are we looking at these two sounds? What exactly do they have in common? Well, when you look at the OU in the word mouth, you hear mouth. But then when you look at it with a long O sound, as you can see in how, you hear how. Now, can you figure out what sound you're hearing that's the same? If you guessed the sound ow, then you would be correct. Kind of like if you were to stub your toe and most people might exclaim, ow, that hurt. So you may be wondering, when you hear a word out loud, if they have the same sound, how can you tell if it's an OU or a long O? It really just takes good practice and word recognition to understand when you would use the OU and the long O. However, there is a good trick that you could remember in order to help you out when it comes to spelling your words. So, the only two words in the English dictionary that has OU at the end of the word is thou and then meow, kind of like a sound a cat makes. So, if you remember that little trick, then when you look at a word like cow or now, you know that it ends with an OW because, like we just said, only two words would ever end with the ending OU. Alright guys, with that little review done on the OU and the long O, what I would like you to do now is pause the video and in the description will be a little link where you could print out this little table set with these words. And as we go through and sort these words today, you could follow along. That way, at the end of this video, when you have free time, you could go ahead and try this out and then master your long O and OU sound sets. And if you don't have a printer, that's okay. Just get a little sheet of paper, write down all of these words that you see here on this screen, and then cut them out and just mimic your own little set as if you were to print it out. And as we go over these words today, it might be something new for you. So as we do it, I will show you a picture related to that word. So that way you could have a good understanding of what it means. All right, and let's get started here. So, the first word we have here is mouth. Mouth. So, you hear that same owl sound, but by looking at the word, which column would you put it in? And since this is a video, boys and girls, I might be going too fast for you. So, if that is the case, press the space bar on your keyboard or click on the video to pause it. That way, you will get enough time to figure it out on your own time. Alright, so when we look at mouth, I see that it has this vowels O and U. All right, and you probably know what mouth is. It's what's on our face with our little lips, teeth, and tongue. All righty, one word down. Next one we have here is going to be clown. All right, and when you look at the word, you don't see that U, you just see that ow. So, it would go with our long O sound. And I wonder if anyone watching this video today is planning to be a clown for Halloween. But if so, a clown is just a funny little guy like this. All right, we're doing good so far. Next word we're gonna look at is cloud. And by looking at the word, you see that U. So it will go with our OU vowel. For ow. And I think you know what a cloud is. A cloud is what we see up in the sky that pours down rain on gloomy days. All right, the next word we're going to be looking at is found. And looking at that U again, I think we know what column that will go in. And our OU sound. And while we'll look at that word, just want you guys to think, what is something that you found before? Might have been something bad, something good, like treasure, like this little guy finds a dollar. All right, we're doing really good. So the next word I'm going to pick here on the side is going to be brown. And you don't see that U, but you see ow. So we can place that with our long O. And brown is a color. So. Use it to describe something, as in this bear has brown fur. Next word is going to be house. And again, we're looking at that U. 
So we would place it with our OU vowel connection sound for house. And a house is something that you guys live in. So there we have it, a house. All right, next word we have is going to be growl. Pay attention that when you spell this word, it has a nice blend at the beginning, G-R, so grr. And then we have ow, O-W. So where do you think that's gonna get placed? Well, I hope you guessed right. It will be our long O sound. And growl, what does growl mean? Well, grr. What might this bear do on top? This brown bear might growl. All right, last word that we're going to work on today is going to be town. Remember, we see ow in there. So, it will go with our long O for ow. All right, boys and girls, and what do you think a town might be? Well, it's compiled of stores, houses, you name it. And I bet you, you live in a town. You know what, boys and girls? I think we actually have time for a couple more words here today. So let's look at the word ouch. And by looking at that word, we see that U vowel in there. So we know it's not going to be the long O sound. So we could put it in our OU category. And I see a little pattern here. So remember in the beginning of the video how we said we normally don't see OU at the ending of a word? Well, it looks like we normally will see it at the beginning of a word. So we see it in ouch, we see it in r, and then we see it in out. But we don't see that long o at the beginning. We normally see that u with it in the beginning. So I think we could safely say that if we ever hear that sound ow at the beginning, it's normally going to be with the ou. Which is where if we hear ow at the ending, it's normally going to be followed by ow for ow. And with that, here's our little picture here representing the word ouch. All right, next word we're going to look at here is going to be cow. Remember, we're hearing that ow at the end, and we see O-W and no U. So we can put that in our long O category. And I'm sure you know what a cow is. They make the sound moo, and they are an animal. All right, now let's do our last example here today. We're going to look at a word that starts with that ow sound and remember what we were just talking about. So we hear the ow at the beginning, but it's not going to be the long o, it's going to be that sound ou. So with that, we can put that in our ou category. And with that boys and girls, with our remaining words that we have here on the side, I would like you to finish this activity yourself and see if you grasp the concept on how to differentiate the words when it comes to the OU and the long O sound for ow. And to become a good speller, I would recommend that you take a couple minutes of time out of your day and do this word search by yourself. That way you can become better at recognizing all these words when it pertains to that ow sound, OU, versus the long O ow sound. And a little fun game you could try is with a parent or a friend, just have them read these words out, out loud, and then on a separate piece of paper as you hear those words, just write them down and see if you understand that difference. And with that, I thank you boys and girls for joining me here today as we learned our OW sounds when it comes to the OU and the OW in a word. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.